There's a lot of storage in here. You're right about that, buddy. Attempt to adjust your dial. I'm transmitting live with the hardcore style. Fresh new kicks in the all star glow. I'm up in the mix. This Paul Large Pro. Straight out the gate with the fabulous track. And my devastating rhymes get the platinum plaque. For the underground world, every street and borough, even out of state. Large here to reach new levels. No doubt came from out the dungeons of rap. You're watching this video on my YouTube channel, which is Use Boats TV. The purpose of this channel is to make a lot of training and how-to videos as well as boat reviews, all to help enhance your boat ownership experience. Please remember, I sell boats here at Heartland Marine. So if you call here looking for something, do me a favor and ask for me. Let's get started looking at this bad boy. What it really means to live life golden. Now it's time for the butt seat test. The butt seats test is where I get in the boat and show you how much room there is for your friends and family's butts. Starting midship, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, coming into the bow, ladies first. <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this big, beautiful 276 Chaparral SSX bow rider will easily hold 14 beautiful Lake Ozark Country Boy boats. If you're interested to know how boat capacity ratings are given by manufacturers, be sure to click down below in the description. I'll include a link to a video that explains that. This model is yacht certified, so legally you can put as many people in it as you'd like. Now let's look at the interior condition. Okay, as we look at the exterior of this beautiful boat, coming around the port side, it's a beautiful white with black accents. What's great about this color is it's easy to maintain and take care of. For, take care of doesn't show its age. This has a very brilliant shine of the gel coat. Keep in mind, we haven't waxed it, cleaned it. You can really tell because we got a lot of good lighting here at our new shop. Looking at the hull, it's in phenomenal shape. Came from Table Rock Lake. Never been in shallow water. Looking at the stem, stainless steel ball scuff plate. All that looks great. Rubber all looks great. Coming around to the starboard side. And people will sometimes ask me, you know, how do you maintain the difference so easily between port and starboard? Old man taught me, port, passenger, starboard, star of the ship, the guy that's driving. Hope that helps you to know. So as you can see, gel coat's great once again. Those are blower vent covers and they're not cracked. That's something to always watch for on this model. People want to help you dock this big old boat. We're going to eat dinner. You know, this boat weighs a lot. This doesn't weigh much at all. If you're trying to pull this, to dock this boat, it doesn't work that well. Captain's call exhaust, du duo prop Volvo outdrive with trim tabs. Great big monster swim platform. Let's go jump inside and take a look. As we climb aboard this 276 Chaparral, you'll notice a great big swim platform that's molded on. It's not added additionally, it doesn't bang and clang and rattle. Also to the aft, we have a beautiful sun pad back here with supermodels. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is also a great place to strap on some uh, bindings for skis or wakeboards or whatever and just roll into the boat. Also, if you're helping kids uh, with water sports, you have a ski tow bar that pops out right here, comes up high, and you have a raised tow edge so you don't slip right off. For kneeing, skiing, wakeboarding, slalom, or barefoot, you have a tow point on top of the tower. Okay. Back to the transom also. You can put some junk in your trunk. Grab your phone, Ty. Right here. There's also a big cockpit table that stores here. Now, this sun pad also hinges like this, so you can have a nice backrest, mm -hmm. like that. Or you can go ahead and flip it up and enter the cockpit. So you have a nice wide walkthrough with a block door to stop kids and critters. We have interior lights. The vinyl on this particular boat is in 
beautiful condition as you have a u-shaped seating that wraps around to the starboard side place for your table grab rails cup holders different boats have different things about them that are uniquely the same for every model they build chaparral has very deep storage compartments like the storage in the floor for example Right here we have a nice Corian countertop, which gives way to what some people call a cooler. It's a great place for dry storage, overpriced sunglasses. You also have a little sink. This pulls out so you can shower. Braden! <laughs> <laughs> Right here we got a trash can, battery charger, and a pump to blow up our intertubes. Here we have a stainless steel refrigerator, because what would a kitchen be without a stainless steel refrigerator? This has the factory upgraded stereo, so it's got the subwoofer. I love the helm design of this boat. This is a big changeover from the SSXs, from the SSIs to the SSXs. So you have beautiful dash here, helm area, off color. You have glass gauges, GPS, which is a GPS map, 530 Garmin, stereo remote control. It's good looking. But what I love about this exact actual design, so to speak, is you got three flip up bolsters all the way around. You also have a little mom box here so you can put wallets or what have you, debit cards. Now this has the stainless steel windshield wrap doesn't do anything structurally, but it sure makes it pretty. This is called the eyebrow, and then the aft is the bimini, and the canvas is in great shape. It's got the arch with the lights built in. Your anchor lock light is on top. And what this actually is, it's not fiberglass. It's essentially a powder coated cover, which looks like a fully finished part of the boat with a wakeboard tower inside of it. Inside the head, we have the cooler. And one thing I always say is people that take good care of their boats take good care of everything else that comes with the boat. So this cooler goes back in the walkthrough. It's got a specifically designed spot for it. It's got bow and cockpit snap-on covers, a pump-out head, a Clarion Marine stereo system you can plug your phone into. <coughs> we got lights in here, a sink and storage, and more storage there. More storage here. If you don't want to use the bathroom, it's a good place to store stuff. Right here, we have a wind block door to block off kids and critters when it's cool or cold or wind, windy. We also have bow filler cushions. And what this is, speaking of cold and windy, if it starts raining on you, you can snap this to the windshield, it zips to the top, makes it like a pop-up camper. We have more storage in the bow floor right here. See how it's nice and finished fiberglass through there? The storage in the bow are fully finished underneath. It sounds like something silly, but things you that I always notice on used boats since I sell over 500 a year, stuff that people never think about looking at, under the seats. If this is really clean, this just came in, we haven't cleaned it, really clean, new, no mold or mildew. That means the boat was stored impeccably well more cup holders and speakers uh, this is a big cooler if you want to use it for that it's kind of a, a rough spot don't put bottles in there up to the bow on the nose above the stem also we have a safety rail that wraps around here we have a bow boarding ladder and an anchor locker chaparral is one of the few companies that in their big 29 foot bow rider puts a boarding ladder up there all right let's look at that motor What we're looking at here is a Volvo Penta. <laughs> it's a real nice motor, you know. Uh, you know, it's got that thingy. <laughs> oh, and don't forget that thingy right there. Very important. Oh, and you can never work a boat without this thing. And then you got Excuse that. Me. Oh, oh. So what we got up here is an 8.1 GI Volvo, 370 horsepower, big block. 8.1 liter block, 496 cubic inches, 
it's got captain's call exhaust, which you can turn on and it pushes out the exhaust through the sides to make it loud and amazing or quiet by hitting the button. It shuts it off, sends it through the out drive. Engine compartment's very clean for a boat we just got in. There's a nice storage compartment here. Notice your batteries are separate to each side for weight distribution and the water tank is to the port side. Also, you have nice soundproof insulation underneath here. So, my name is Brandon. Thank you for watching this video. If you call here, be sure and ask for me, and I'll see you on the water. I'll see you on the water, too. <laughs> okay. Wait. Okay. Go. <laughs> Hold on, baby. <laughs> okay. Hold on. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay, Todd. Hold on. Wait for Brandon. Go. For me, whenever I get back, what else do you say? On From where? Back to work? Yeah, and yo, you said I needed something else. If I can come work to you more than hello. I need to grab something. That's what you say. You say I need to grab something. So these are my kids. This is my oldest son, Brayden. My middle son, Ty. Hey, it's one. Yeah. You say I need to grab something. What do I need to grab? Oh, go to Johnson Brothers and they got stickers for Mercury Outboard. You need to hurry. We'll take them away. As we climb aboard this 276... Starting midship, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, quicker, quicker, seven, eight, coming into the bow. Ladies first. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what did I stop at? Eight? I don't know, we gotta redo that whole thing. Models popping bottles!